What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Power Moves with Two Tall Toby, where today we're going to show you how to save time by using the shift key when you're adding dimensions to your sketches. Ow! So here I am in SolidWorks, and my goal is to create the sketch for this tombstone shaped part. I'll start out by going to the top plane and pressing the S key. And of course, if you haven't seen my video on the S key, be sure to check that out. It's one of my favorite shortcuts in SolidWorks. Now here, I'm gonna go back and touch the end point of that line and come around with the arc, and I'll use the auto dimension shortcut to type in the radius of that arc. Now I can just hit escape, drag these two points together, and then make the vertical line midpoint to the origin. Now for this final dimension, what I would do in the old days is I would create a dimension that goes from this vertical line to the arc itself, not to the center point, but to the arc itself. And then I would just go with whatever the default value was. And I would go over to this section in the properties called leaders. And I would change this from center to min to max. Okay, now it's the correct tangency constraint for that arc dimension, the max tangency location. And so then I would have to double click on that dimension and type 125. It's great to know that this functionality exists, that I can click on this dimension and I can change the arc tangency condition for the dimension, but it's a few extra steps than what I like to perform. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin the smart dimension command. I'm gonna click on this vertical line and then on my keyboard, I'm gonna hold the shift key. So I hold shift and then you can see that I can click on the maximum point of tangency as I'm creating the dimension. And that means as soon as I drop the dimension, I can immediately type in the correct value, saving me all those extra steps. This is a really good shortcut to learn. It's very simple to learn, but once you start using it, you're just gonna start shaving minutes and minutes and minutes off your workflows every day. Another spot that I use this a lot is with slotted holes. So in this case, the drawing is showing that slot going from maximum tangency to maximum tangency. So S key, smart dimension, hold shift, pick the one arc near the tangency point, pick the other arc near the tangency point and let go shift. Now I can click that dimension in the background and type in the correct value. One final spot that I'll show you that I use this functionality a lot is when I've got a physical model, a physical part, and I'm measuring it with a caliper. Well, it's very easy for me to measure the distance from here to here, but it's a lot more difficult for me to accurately measure the center to center of those holes in the physical part. And so what I could do is I could take that measurement with my caliper from tangency point to tangency point, then I could begin the smart dimension command, hold shift, pick this arc near the tangency point, pick this arc near the tangency point, let go of shift, and then drop in that dimension. I measured it at 42 millimeters. Then I could go back to those dimension properties and make that center to center so that the print looks correct or you know the patent drawing or whatever it is that I'm working on looks correct. So similarly, if it was easier for me to measure to the lower point of tangency with my physical caliper, I could measure that, type in the correct dimension, and then go over to the properties of that dimension and change that back to center. Just a cool little trick that I use a lot when I'm measuring physical parts and then drawing them up in SolidWorks. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to share this video with other SolidWorks enthusiasts. And of course, go down into the comments and let me know what you thought about this quick tip. And I will see everybody in the next episode of Power Moves.